Good Monday morning. I'm Brittany Bagley. We're starting with uh, breaking news this morning. A portion of five is shut down near the airport. Let me show you some pictures coming into the newsroom. Take a look at your screen again. This is five northbound near the airport. Earlier this morning, we had an overturned tractor trailer, and you can see all the debris in the middle of the roadway. Now, let me show you a different look at this accident because traffic is still backed up for miles. You can see team coverage right now. Uh, traffic is backed up. I'm talking all the way into downtown on 5 northbound. So if you have an early morning flight, I want to make sure that you are prepared. You're going to need to leave extra early. In fact, ABC 10's Lena Howland, I know you just got to the scene of this accident. Traffic been backed up for more than four hours. What can you tell us? Do you know if the tractor trailer overturned? Were there serious injuries with this or not? Well, Brittany, luckily we've heard from CHP that there were no serious injuries in this accident. Now we are here off of Old River Road. This is our closest vantage point to that accident. I do want to step out of the shot to give you a better look at what drivers are seeing here along Old River Road. This is one of the back roads that drivers are taking to sort of get around this accident right now. But I do want to go now to our other photojournalist on the scene, Jeremy Flint. He has a better vantage point of some of the damage that we're seeing on I-5. CHP tells us a pickup truck collided with a utility trailer on I-5 at the Yolo Bypass around 4, around 7.30 this morning that caused the trailer to overturn, blocking all northbound lanes of I-5, likely causing quite the headache for those heading to the airport today after their Thanksgiving breaks. CHP has not given us any estimated time of reopening, so if you do have a flight out of the airport today, make sure that you are leaving earlier than usual to account for this extra travel time and keep in mind that all of those lanes heading northbound on I-5 are still closed right now. No estimated time of reopening, so you are going to want to plan around this mm -hmm. and find an alternate route such as Old River Road where we are standing now. We're going to give you another update on the scene here coming up in the next 15 minutes here on Extra Shot. Back to you. Yeah, I like that you're showing us the secondary roadway. So all that green stuff, if you're familiar with like crafting and stuff, when you pot uh, like plants, that's what that green stuff is on the interstate right now. So it is a mess. Let me show you a different look right here. You can see our traffic team working behind the scenes to make sure we're prepared. So again, this is a live look five northbound near the airport. If you have an early morning flight, if you're picking somebody up, if you have a flight like Lena showed you, we just have to make sure that you leave early because traffic has been a mess since about 725. Let's go to our traffic graphics. Let's make sure you are prepared. So the red means 15 miles per hour. So again, uh, five northbound as you head to the airport, you're going to see those slower drive times. So I'm actually going to zoom it out because uh, it's causing problems. Basically five northbound, 80 on the top, all the way to the airport. And you can also see 80 showing these slower drive times. And you're also going to see those delays on 50 as you make your way into 80 in Yolo Causeway. So it is just a busy day in the traffic center. Of course, we have team coverage and you better believe we're going to update you on TV, online and our ABC 10 app.